Hi guys, this is Kelly Hernandez again, and I'm going to show you the books that I picked out to show space and illustrations. Uh, the first one I want to show you is going to be Dan the Taxi Man by Eric Ode and illustrated by Kent Collada. Um, this one is about Dan the Taxi Man as he's driving around town and picking up all the members of the band to go to the show. Um, so it shows him picking them up one by one. It's a rhyming book, so it's really cute. Um, but it, like I said, it just follows him along, follows along with him as he's picking up all the members of the band and then taking him to go see the, the show that night. Um, so this one's a great example of space because we have these great illustrations that, um, that show how they use space to create distance. Um, like on this page, we have Dan the Taxi Man here in the foreground with his nice big yellow cab. And then... Um, it shows further off to in the back, it shows the city, which they've made the buildings nice and small, and this other car in comparison is a lot smaller than Dan's car. So you can tell they're using the space on the pages to make things look further off in the distance. Um, there's also, I wanted to show you while I'm on this page, a um, great example of color. Um, they have this nice bright red stop sign with the word stop in red because um, even small children will associate the red stop sign and the red word stop with stop signs. So um, so they use color to, to kind of jump out at you there. Um, and so we're kind of following along with him, like I said, as he's picking up the members of the band. But we have... Um, Another example of how they've used space, we have the taxi cab in the front, and then these little houses up above, and you can show with them being, you can see with them being higher and then kind of smaller, they're using that space to show that distance. Um, this is another one that I really enjoy that shows a good example of um, showing space. We have one of the members of the band who's getting ready to be picked up, and he's up here on his apartment balcony. And then um, they make the taxi cab down here and then the people smaller, so it makes it look like you're looking down on the street over Dan and the taxi man and the other members of the band. So... Um, and here's another on the next page, another great example of space where, and then also of lines, how they've used lines to show, um, they've used both lines and space to show the distance, how we have the lines on the street going back to show that it gets smaller and, um, it's going further away from you. And then of course we have like the car is closer up so it's bigger and then of course the sign is really big right here because it's the closest thing to you and then there's one more example I wanted to show you of space um, where they have some of the audience members up on a balcony overlooking watching the band and then down below we have all these people who aren't very detailed or are not detailed at all because they're meant to just be kind of in the distance and, um, you know, not so much of an important feature on that page. So, um, that one is my first example of space that I wanted to show you. The next one that I wanted to show you is a really fun book that my girls love, which is called The Prince and the Witch and the Thief and the Bears. And this one is, um, basically a story within a story. Um, it's about a little boy who's going to bed and his dad is telling him a bedtime story and they're kind of like making up the story as they go. So, um, they're kind of collaborating on the story, if you will, um, and telling this whole little story. So I like this one. It has a bunch of great examples of space here. Um, here we have the prince in the foreground on the horse and of course they're nice and big in the front and then in the back we have this big mountaintop with the castle on top which you know the castle's big but of course with them placing it nice and small and up high it gives the illusion of this great distance so they're using space there to create that distance 
Um, and then here's another example of kind of the same type of picture, only there's a bear now in the foreground. So we have this great big bear in the foreground, and then we, of course, have the little mountain in the castle because they're set way back in the distance. So another example of using space to create distance. Um, and while I'm on this page, I wanted to show you this picture, which shows some texture on the bears. You can see actually using the lines to create the texture of the bear's fur. So that one has a good example of some texture on it. Um, and then here's another, oh, that's not the one I wanted. There's the one I wanted. Another great example of space to create distance. Um, we have the prince and the horse who are hanging off the edge of a cliff. And then all you can see in the background is all these little hills um, and these trees, which are nice and small and at the bottom of the page. So, um, And then we have this big empty space behind them. So it creates that, um, that idea that they're dangling in this big open space and that they're really in a lot of trouble. So... And then we have on the next page another little example of texture with the princess and her hair. You can see all the lines they've used to create the texture in her hair. So there's another little example of some texture there. And then I think, oh, and there's actually, while I'm on this page, I'll show you, there's a couple of examples of movement where they've turned the animals into jello. You'll have to read the story to understand the whole story. But, um... As you can see, they've got these movement lines because Jell-O's really wiggly, so they've got these little movement lines around the Jell-O animals. And I think it's on the last page, is the other one I wanted to show you. Yeah, another one, which is a good example of space we have, um, we have this big tree and then the bears in the foreground and another one where they've used smaller objects and set higher and, you know, to make them look further back. So that was another one. Um, oh, and this is another one that the illustrations stay really true to the story. As you could probably see as I was going through there, the illustrations are incredibly detailed. There's, there's lots of things going on and there's lots of things going on in the story. It's quite an elaborate story that the little boy and his father have cooked up together. So this one stays really true to the story as well. So for, um, space, I had the prince and the witch and the thief and the bears and then Dan the taxi man. So I hope you enjoyed both of those. Thank you so much.